welcome back to my channel and welcome to another tutorial. I'm so glad you're here. For today's look, it is a smoky eye nude lip, which is perfect for Valentine's Day. These videos are popping up left and right and I wanted to do my own take on a Valentine's Day makeup look. So this is what I came up with. I feel like on Valentine's Day you can be as bold as you want. So if you want to see how I created this look, then go ahead and jump right into the video. But before that, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. It makes me so incredibly happy that my channel is growing and that you decided to be part of my little family here on YouTube. Okay, so I had to cut myself off because I was blabbing too much, but I'm going to pick up the Copper Spice Palette by Morphe and use this light tan shade as a transition color. Then I will zoom you guys right in and the sh coloring changes. I'm still trying to figure out this whole lighting situation, but I'm picking up this kind of richer tan shade and then in a little bit I'll pick up the shade that's like diagonal to it. It's more like a burgundy like... More, um, what would you say it is more like a raw sienna remember that little crayon raw sienna a little bit of that shade right there i'm using these colors to build up and have a base for our black just because i didn't want the smoky eye to just be so black i wanted it to have some kind of depth and dimensions to it that's why i'm using it, these colors Taking NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean, I'm using this as a base for my black eyeshadow. I wanted the eyeshadow to just pop and kind of hold still right there without creasing throughout the day. So I figured if we add like a cream and then just set it in with some powder in a little bit, the black shadow, then it will capture what I had envisioned in my mind and it won't crease up if you're using this to go out on Valentine's Day. Now we're picking up that black shade in the Copper Spice palette and just packing it in to the black cream that we put on. It's eyeliner. I don't know why I keep calling it cream. It's like a cream eyeliner. So yeah, it's creamy and we put it on our eyes and that just sounded wrong. But let's keep moving on and I'm just packing this in and then in a little bit I will be blending it out with a fluffy brush to let that line not be so like harsh like you could see it right here like if you would stop here it would just be like "Ooh, girl no you need to work on your blending so we're going to blend after this So I'm going to add, I believe I said before, I'm going to add some of the brown shadow to blend out, that darker brown shadow to blend out. And also we'll go in with the black eyeshadow just because I felt like right here it looks like it's just like a big step from black to brown. So I wanted it to be more seamless looking and I didn't really want the brown to be that defined. So right now I'll go back in with the black and blend that out as well. Don't be intimidated by smoky eyes. They're so much fun to do. This one I feel is very beginner friendly. Like you can totally pull this off. Don't be afraid of it. Like I got confidence and faith in you that you can blend this and work this out to your advantage. So per usual, I have done this before I did my foundation just because since it's black, we don't want it to ruin our foundation beforehand. So that's why I like to do my eyeshadow before my foundation. Some people find it a little different and weird, but it was, it's what works for me. Next, I'm going to be priming my face. I'm using the Makeup Forever Primer. Then I will be using the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in Pearl. Zooming right along, I'm going to be using a beauty blender to kind of just pounce everything in and make sure we are all blended out and just further set that foundation into my skin. For my contour today, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade in Light Palette. 
then I will be applying it wherever I do my contour. We're going to kind of rush through this as well just to focus solely on the eyes. If not, this video would be like 20 minutes long. So I kind of like to do under my jawline to avoid any double chin action, my nose, and a little bit on the lower part of my lip. And once we are done applying our contour, we're going to put on our concealer. I'm using the oh so trusty favorite Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair to conceal and just cover up any areas where I just want to look even more ghostly. Okay, so once that's blended out, oh wait, just kidding, that's not, oh, okay, there we go. So once that's blended out, we are going to be setting our under eyes with translucent setting powder. This is the RCMA setting powder, and we are setting under our eyes. Yes, we are, taking a little while. Then I'm also going to do like around my nose on my jawline area to define that contour a little bit more. We're gonna zoom past this as well and just use the rest of the powder to set in any other areas. For my eyeliner, you can't have a smoky eye without a deep eyeliner look with like smoked out bottom lashes area. So I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Gel Liner. This thing has been one of my favorites. I call everything like a thing, so I'm sorry. This eyeliner has been one of my favorites, yes. So then once I apply that, I'm going to take that same black shade and smoke out the bottom lash area. Going very carefully because this um, black shade does have a lot of fallout, I've noticed. So I'm using a very, very little tiny brush to blend that into my lower lash line and blend out that liner as well. Okay, so once we're all blended out in a second, I'm going to be using the TARDIS mascara to prep my lashes for some falsies coming up. I'm of course going to be using the House of Lashes lashes which are my favorite. Um, this is the, sh the, the style, I keep saying shade, knockout and I feel like this song is like the best way to like prep your lashes to let the glue dry. I've had that song stuck in my head and literally every time you hear it you cannot not shake it so I figured I'd use it to my advantage and shake dry the lash glue while I shaky shaky so then I'm going to be using some mascara on my lower lashes and as you can see I dotted on my side of my nose right there but it's okay we can clean it up with a little q-tip once it's dry then I'm going to be um, taking off that powder and as well, I'll be putting on a little bit more bronzer just because I felt like I was a little washed out. I am so fair skinned that it's so hard to show colors on my face. So, except for red, I can show red like very well. Like I am always blushing or red or whatnot. So yeah. So here is me applying the bronzer to the apples of my cheeks and around everywhere. Then I will be taking the Jaclyn Hill palette using the shade Champagne Pop. I originally wanted to use Prosecco Pop as well, but I figured this was enough. I went in with this and yes, this highlight was popping and will be popping on Valentine's Day if I had a Valentine. Oh, 
for my lips once we are done filling ourselves in this highlight. I'm using the Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin Liquid Lipstick and using this kind of as a base. I will be going in with Mannequin to kind of put it in on the center of my lips. Um, I feel like you could tell the difference a little bit, but on me you can't really tell that I did, like they both kind of look similar, but Mannequin is a lot lighter than Celebrity Skin. So I just wanted to add a little bit more like, just try something different with my lips rather than just doing like a one shade look. So here I go with Mannequin. Then I will be using my finger to blend that out. Well, you do kind of see it. Like you see how light it is in the middle. So I will use my finger to kind of blot that out and clean up all the edges. That way our, it like blends out seamlessly. With this being done and said, this look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial as much as I have and feeling so sassy recording it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.